What up, world? It's your woman, butterfly. It's your woman, butterfly. <laughs> y'all know I'm going to come up with a theme song. I really am. <clears throat> Even though I don't mind singing to y'all. I, I know y'all like my singing. I just can't get enough of it. <laughs> okay, y'all. So let's get straight into it. Because I'm super motivated. Because I feel like... Um, there's a sense of urgency going on here. Okay. All right. So I, um, work a lot and today is my day off y'all. And I have just been chilling like, but even on my day off, I got to go to work sometimes cause they have like, you know, farmers come in and, and talk and tell about the products they, um, sell to our restaurant and stuff. And, and if you, um, want to move up which I see people doing at the restaurant I work at, then you need to come in when they have um, classes and things like that. But anyway, <clears throat> there's a lot going on, y'all. So I'm just going to go subject by subject, subject, and then we're going to get into the story. Okay, I'm going to try to do it all in 20 minutes. Or maybe since I got my computer, maybe it can be more than 25 minutes, but it seemed like people you know, don't have 25 minutes to sit there and watch a video. I don't know. It's, um, um, you should though, because, because if you can watch a TV show, then you can watch this and this is better than a TV show. Okay. Cause it's the truth. All right. So <laughs> speaking of TV, uh, I need to tell, I have a confession to make. Okay, I don't have my sin. I confess my sin because I'm still flesh and blood and I'm still going to sin. You know, I'm the only thing that's that um that is different when you become saved is that <clears throat> certain sins you're going to stay away from automatically. You you know, you are never going to look back. But then there's there's certain ones where you might not see the harm in it just yet, but but uh just pray and ask God to help you. So let me tell y'all what happened, right? Okay, <laughs> let me show y'all as a matter of fact. Okay, y'all, I have a TV in my house, all right? Um, I didn't go out and buy this TV, you know? Somebody gave me this TV and, you know, I'm not complaining. I just, I just didn't, I didn't intend on having one, but it's here. And um, um, I watched the news, you know, and that's, that's pretty much what, the only thing that I, used to watch on it but then it turned into me like watching Maury I watch Maury daily because um um I just like to see how people are <laughs> you know what I mean like I I don't know I don't watch Jerry Springer because I feel like that um there's some writing going on and some of those stories I'm in love with my granddad and all this crap and I slept with my mom and all this crap is just ridiculous. It's like really, really uh, vile. So I don't watch Jerry Springer, but I will watch Maury. So I watch the news and I watch Maury. Okay. And then I, and then if, oh, I might watch um, game shows every now and then. Like I love Wheel of Fortune, I love um, Jeopardy, and um, the other one, Family Feud. So that's pretty much all I've been watching on this TV. Look. It won't come on now. This little box is supposed to come on. <laughs> but it won't come on now. So the TV's not coming on. And I definitely believe that that was the answer to to my prayer. So let me tell y'all. Um, I'm off on Mondays. And there's a show, this new show that started coming on at Mondays at 10 o'clock. And it's a show. It's called Good Girls. And it's about, it's, it's, it's like, you know, I haven't seen a lot of these shows lately, but some of them you just cannot stop watching. Like it, it you cannot, it, it just sucks you in. Okay. And within two episodes, this show has sucked me in. Like, like <laughs> I had to pray. Okay. Because love and hip hop did me like that too. Love and hip hop just sucked me in. Like you just want to see what's going to happen next. And if. If um, if the whole storyline or the whole idea is something I can relate to, or you know what I mean, like in this in this show, or something that I'm interested in, like you know, um, I like I like um, 
music and you know the love and hip hop is supposedly about the music industry but really it's a show about what happens after you sell your soul to Satan and all them people on there are possessed by demons that are causing drama that are spreading hate and teaching people how to hate each other okay that's the only thing that's going on that's the only thing that's when the cameras go off they go back to their miserable freaking slave selves all right so even though they they appear to be happy when the cameras are on because they're possessed and then the cameras go off it's a whole different ball game whole different story okay so this show was about three women who were having problems in their lives you know and and you know sometimes on the surface we feel like money is what can fix problems you know i've fantasized about robbing a bank sometimes you know just going in there and just getting all the money you know but so that's what these ladies did on this show and then they went in the grocery store and robbed the grocery store and then uh, like a whole series of you know it seemed like they were able to fix their lives you know with the money that they got from the grocery store and all of a sudden all this other crazy stuff happened and it just keeps happening and happening and happening it's very good writing very good acting you know and i was just like sucked in i was like you know the second time i watched it i felt like this show is gonna put sin before my eyes you know because because you can't stop watching okay and then you know sometimes they surprise you with it you know what I'm saying? You, 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 you know they surprise you with it when you watch the shows, okay? You, you look at the screen and all of a sudden they show like a turtle in a tank, and then they'll show like a clock on the wall, you know, and then all of a sudden they'll show somebody butt naked or somebody about to get raped or, you know, just violence and all this other stuff that God doesn't like. They sneak it up on you, okay? And they do the same thing in the movie theater because you can't, you cannot press pause. Okay, and you cannot unsee it. All right, so I was like, after I watched, today is Friday, okay? I, I watched the second episode on Monday, and afterwards, I, I felt bad. I felt really bad. You know, I was like, I reached out to my homegirl, and I told her about this show and how I couldn't stop watching, you know, but really, I felt bad. Like, she was like, that's how I feel about some other show, and I was just like, if this, if she feels like that about that show, and I feel like this about this show, you know, th these shows are gonna just suck you in and waste your time, and 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 like put sin before your eyes. So, so you can pray to God and ask Him to help you with sin that you cannot stop doing or that you have stumbled upon. You can pray and ask God to help you with all of that. Okay, so I went in my room. I said a prayer. I was like, God, I don't know what the heck I'm doing. I'm, I'm up here watching TV, and I just feel like this is show I'm not going to be able to stop watching. Like, it's sucking me in, right? So, it's Friday, and my TV is not working. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's plugged in and everything. This little box is plugged in. See that? I don't know if y'all can see that, but that's the box on there. It's plugged in and it will not come on at all. That little red light's supposed to come on. <laughs> come on. <laughs> That's so funny. So I was up here watching YouTube and God was like, you don't need to be watching YouTube. You need to be working on your own videos. So here I am. I'm going to work on my own videos for tonight. And then I'm going to go back to watching YouTube. <laughs> but, but it's just labor to get through this story like but I mean I need to get through it because because more stuff is happening like God is blessing me and I just want to tell y'all that God is blessing me like I get a dollar more at work when I work a certain position right and and I've been spending like more money than I'm supposed to on gas since I've been going out to the nail shop so um Tuesday night I was like kind of thinking that I'm going to have to stretch my gas. I was like, I'm going to have to stretch my gas if I want to go to the nail shop and practice. And, you know, I was just a little worried about gas. So at the end of the night, one of the bartenders was like, oh, here's your tip, right? And I was like, really? And it was a cash tip, y'all. Okay, so I was so happy. I felt like that was God saying, you don't have to worry about, you don't have to worry, okay? I got you. Okay, what you worry about? There's gas in your tank. Okay, go do your little nail thing. All right. So <laughs> I'm just so happy. I am so happy, y'all. 
But um, let me get through a little bit of this story before I get off of here. Y'all make, oops, sorry. <laughs> I don't want to drop y'all, but y'all make sure y'all, um, I need to be still. Make sure y'all, um, um, meditate. There's some good meditation videos out there. I like listening to them when I go to sleep sometimes. And they are just really calming and relaxing. I freaking love it. So make sure y'all meditate on Psalms and there's some good Bible stories out there. There's a lot of good stuff on, 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 um, line. All right. So y'all do that. Okay. So we're going to get through some of this freaking story because <sighs> it's just the hottest mess what happened. All right. I'm sitting up here watching this lady. She's talking about the music industry and stuff. And I'm just seeing some of the stuff that she's saying is just so familiar to to some of the things that I went through while I was in the club environment. Like, that is the breeding ground. That is the stomping grounds for for demons and Satan. And it's the breeding ground for all kinds of horrible sins. Like, it's just so horrible. It's really bad, okay? The strip club is a horrible, 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 horrible place. It is a pit. You are in a pit. All right? So... We were at the part when, oh, we were at the part when he came to my house and he was out. I went and picked him up because he had came in town with a, with his homeboy who, 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 if you look at his Instagram page, is definitely affiliated with some type of Illuminati type deal or whatever. Like one of his other DJ friends. All right, so he came in town with him. That's the reason why he didn't have his car. So I picked him up before the club. Now, listen, three days, about three days before that, right, I was in my house with my daughter, and I was just worried, okay, because bills were piling up, rent was gone, piling up, and I was just wondering what God was going to do. And... I had this thought in my head and I was like, I really wish we had some beds, you know, because we were sleeping on the floor in my room. Okay. And, and I don't know if her back was hurting as much as mine. She didn't complain. You know, I, I gave her a pallet and everything, but my back was freaking killing me. Right. So, so before I went to bed, you know, I, I hadn't been working in the club. I'd been working at a, as a carrier and I was like, I really wish that we didn't have to sleep on the floor, right? So the very next day, my daughter, she had some little friends in the neighborhood, right? And he knocked on the door. They were always knocking on our door. They knocked on our door and they was like, hey, my mama has two beds in the garage if y'all want them, right? And I was like, really? And she said, yeah, right? So I went and I saw the beds. One of them was like a king size bed and a box spring. And the other one was a twin size bed, the box spring and the frame, right? So I was like, yeah, we'll take them, right? So I was like wondering how I was going to move them. And the little girls were like, we got some friends. We got some friends that'll help. So they, the children went and got all these other children and they moved the beds into my home. So I had a bed in my room, the box spring in the the mattress, king size, and then Kayla, I mean, Caterpillar had her bed in her room, the twin size with the frame. So I was just so freaking happy. And um, I also think that that was a sign. That was like the first, I'm not going to say the first time I really felt the sign, but that was like a time that I can remember, you know, like, like now I know when it, when, when God is doing for me. And then I knew it was him too, but it was like, it was like so automatic, so so um, specific, you know, because he does like specific requests too, you know, like he he's listening to your little grieving heart, okay? So please get close to God because he is the giver of gifts, all right? On this earth in in heaven, okay? Now in heaven and the gifts in heaven are better than these ones here, okay? This is not a uh, this is not your permanent home. You wouldn't want it to be if you knew it's fate. Okay. So anyway, we were outside in the car talking, right? 
And uh, he said all this good stuff, right? Okay, so he was like, after he said all that, he was like, can I come in? Right? And I was like, um, yeah, you, you can come in. I was like, but, but I don't want to, okay? I'm not having sex, all right? Because we're not married and, you know, I just don't feel right about it anymore. You know, just all this stuff he just said, you don't show it and you know, you, you come and then you go and I don't know where you are. So we could just talk more, right? Okay, so before he came in the house, he smoked a cigarette. All right, and y'all, for me, a cigarette is a sign of a demon. Like when, like when guys try to talk to me, and they, if it's someone he's smoking a cigarette, it's an automatic no because you're not taking care of yourself. So how could you take care of me? You know what I mean? I don't like guys that come up to me smoking, drinking, smell like alcohol. Those are demons or demons possess people. All right, so please. Sometimes they'll cough real loud to try to think that attracts you or something like. <coughs> I got this gas over here. <laughs> that works on little girls that that don't that are impressed by weed smoke. I don't know. That doesn't work on me. I just look at it like you're over there killing yourself, so you definitely gonna try to kill me, right? So he smoked a cigarette before he went in the house. Okay, I went in the house first, and then I heard the door close behind me, and and it just the whole on cloud nine type deal just went down the drain as soon as that door closed. Okay. Because when he closed the door, y'all, I'm going to have to, this is, I, some, of the, some of the things that he did, I'm going to have to just imitate because, because I cannot explain, okay? So when he closed the door, right, he goes, mm-hmm, 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 yeah, you got your house, I see you, mm-hmm, he's like, you see me, mm-hmm, yeah. Let's go in the room, right? And I was like, mm-hmm, yeah, just kind of imitating him. Like, okay, you over there tell me, mm-hmm, but nothing is going to happen still. Okay, so I didn't have nowhere to sit. I now, you, I knew deep in my heart that he was not coming in there just to talk to me. Okay, uh, it got it got really bad, okay? Um, uh, so we sat on the bed. He automatically started to try to fill on me or whatever, hug on me and, you know, just try to, Get at me, right? And I was like pushing him off and telling him no, right? And I was like, no, we're going to talk. I told you I didn't want to. We are going to talk, right? And he just tried again. Like he was like, we are talking, but you know how much I love you. And I was like, it don't matter. It don't matter. It's been so long. Like it has been so long. And why do you keep leaving? And, you know, just it was so crazy, y'all. So, so he went back outside. Right, and he smoked a cigarette or whatever, smoked the rest of his cigarette. So I went out after him, which I should have just freaking closed the door. Even God was telling me to close the door and leave him out there, right? But I went out after him, right? And when I went out there, he was smoking a cigarette and he was like, mm-hmm, <laughs> I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. He kept saying he's gonna get me, right? And I was like, You are not gonna get me, right? So he just barged past me and to the back into the house, right? And I went in after him, and when I got in there, he was laying on the bed, right? And he was, like, trying to look seductive or whatever. You know, he was just like, mm-hmm, 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 mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm, just trying. It looked like he was trying too hard. And, and he looked like the devil. He really did. He looked, like, to me, uh, he just looked so evil. He looked so evil. He was... He just looked so freaking evil, and and I was just so scared. And then he got up really fast, and he came up to me, right? And he was like, you know, and I'm I'm I was watching him by the door, right? But then I like as he got in my face, I was just kind of like backed into a corner because I couldn't, I didn't know what to say. You know what I mean? Like I. I didn't want to say, hey, get out, you know what I'm saying? Even though that's what I should have said. But I, I just didn't want to because cause I love him, you know what I mean? And he's now he's all over me, and he's like, he's like, why are you doing this to me? You know what I'm saying? Like, why are you, why are you doing this? Why are you keeping yourself from me? You know what I'm saying? And I was like, I just couldn't answer. I was totally shocked. I had no... 
no response because because um I just had a bunch of reasons why, but I just didn't want to say anything, right? So he's like, uh, I'm sitting there. Really, I was talking to God in my head. I was apologizing to God, and and uh, and I was like, because cause I was about to get in, right? Because to hear him beg me like that kind of just tore me down also. So it, it was like, you know, but the fact that he smelled like cigarettes, also gave me strength okay and he was just like all over me then he grabbed my clothes and he was like what why are you keeping yourself from me why won't you let me why won't you let me right so i'm sitting there like uh, i don't know you know what i'm saying like uh, right so i'm talking about i just cried out for god because i was actually about to give in and just because he was begging me so to hear him beg like that, it just, you know, I was like, God, please help me, right? And next thing you know, bring, I'm talking about, he had kind of like tore my shirt and it's like my top was just kind of popped out and it was like, God help me. I said, God help me in my head, right? Cause that's all I could say. And I really meant it. I'm talking about right when I said that, bring, his phone went off, right? And, and and it was his homeboy, and he was like, um, which house is it, right? And he was like, oh, um, he told him my address. And uh, <laughs> y'all, when he put the phone down, I'm still over here like this, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I just wanted him to go. But when he put the phone down, he's like, ooh, you got saved. You got saved. That's what he said. He said, you got saved. And then he came back and he was like, why won't you let me have you? You got saved. That's what he kept saying, right? And then his homeboy, beep, beep, was outside. And I just felt so relieved. I'm talking about, I've always seen him. I've always been happy to see him come. But that was one night I was so happy to see him go, okay? I was so freaking happy. And I just was relieved and I felt like that was God again. That 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 moment right there strengthened me in God's relationship and it helped me uh realize that when you're in trouble or when you've gotten yourself into trouble, God will help you if you if you cry out for him. Okay. So they drove off and I was like just thinking about what just happened. And um and um I it was like I heard God say, you know, that's that's the devil's greatest weapon against you right there. He's the devil. He's the devil's greatest weapon against you, okay? And the very next day, I took my daughter to school. She was at the sitter that night. I picked her, picked her up from the sitter, took her to school, came back. There was an eviction notice on the door. It was time to get out. You and your daughter, get out of this house. All right, so... I will tell y'all on the next episode of The Butterfly Show what happened after that because it's just crazy how, I, how, how when, when God opened your eyes like this, you really feel like you're in two worlds, okay? Because that, that was a devil, all right? And y'all stay with me, okay? Because it gets so crazy. You, you won't believe. You won't believe. But you better believe, okay? Love y'all babies. Bye.